The Phoenix Suns and Denver Nuggets facing off in the second round of the 2021 NBA playoffs. You know what? I love how these teams have built their rosters, and now they are getting a chance to showcase themselves on the big stage. This series has lots of storylines, lots of intrigue, and in today's video, I'm previewing the matchup and giving you my prediction for who will win it. Suns and Nuggets. Nuggets and Suns. Man, oh man, I am going to need some copper tone and sweet and spicy dipping sauce for this series. And can I just say, it's kind of cool seeing these two teams meeting up at the playoffs for what is sure to be a fun time. Guys, so glad you could join me on today's video. My name is Troy, and this is the Half Court Report YouTube channel. Make sure you drop a like on this video. It really helps out the channel, and it tells YouTube to show this content to more people. And if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have those notification bells turned on. You don't want to miss any of the videos, any of the content I have coming out. I am previewing every single playoff matchup all the way through the NBA Finals. And you know what? Thrive Fantasy wants to make sure you're still getting your fantasy fix, even through the NBA playoffs. I'm a big fan of these guys. With Thrive, you can eliminate the countless hours of research and focus on only the top tier athletes that have the biggest impact on the game. So here's how this works. You choose your available player props to build your lineup. Each prop is assigned a fantasy value for both the over and the under based on how likely it is to hit. And if you do hit the most props and rack up the most points, you're gonna win a share of the prize pool. Thrive has over $20,000 guaranteed in prizes weekly. And get this, they have awarded over $4 million in prizes. All you have to do is use promo code HCR when you sign up today and you will receive an instant match of up to $50 on your first deposit. So download Thrive Fantasy on the App Store or the Play Store, or you can also visit their website at thrivefantasy.com. And I've got all this information in the description of this video. Definitely check them out. Let's talk about Phoenix. The Valley of the Sun has a lot going for it besides just an awesome institution of higher education. I'm talking, of course, about the University of Phoenix. I mean, when I got my degree, or should I say multiple degrees there, I knew it was going to be challenging academically. I knew it would probably take me at least 25 years to pay off the student debt. But you know what? Today, when I park my 2013 Ford Taurus, and stroll into my corner apartment with the fountain view, then I know I've made it. I mean, thanks to the University of Phoenix, I'm able to afford those weekly meals at Golden Corral, and you know what, I may even get an appetizer while I'm there too. Ah, the University of Phoenix, the Arizona State of Arizona, as I like to call it. And speaking of education, the Phoenix Suns will be looking to take the Denver Nuggets to school during this series. After knocking out the defending champion Los Angeles Lakers in six games, the Suns are looking to extend that run. All eyes are going to be on the big three of Chris Paul, Devin Booker, and DeAndre Ayton. And it may surprise you, but CP3 is the Suns' sixth leading scorer in the playoffs. So he may not be making a huge impact in the box score, but the ability he brings to the Suns can't be overlooked. Talking, of course, about his playmaking, steady hand, and on-court leadership. And so far, the playoffs have been a huge coming out party for Devin Booker after spending the first five years of his career in Phoenix and missing the postseason each time. He's making up for lost time in a big, big way. The dude is shooting the ball well, averaging almost 30 points per game. And DeAndre Ayton is doing DeAndre Ayton things. By that, I mean running toward the rim, getting easy buckets, crashing the boards. And Phoenix is one of those teams that can match up with the Nuggets size-wise, at least, from that center spot. Then you have Cameron Payne, who was basically out of the NBA a year ago, playing like the best backup point guard that we've ever seen. Then Jay Crowder, Mikhail Bridges, they are adding the glue to this team with hustle, defense, and grit. Moving on to the Nuggets, they dispatched the Trailblazers in six games in round one. There's so much to love about this team. The way they have built through the draft, the way that they always play together, everyone on the floor understands their role. It's beautiful basketball, and it makes this an easy team to root for. After coming up short in the Western Conference Finals last year, they are back with something to prove, and they are ready to show they belong in the conversation as one of the elite teams 
in the NBA. So let's go through this Nuggets roster to see what the Suns will be going up against. Nikola Jokic, he is my pick for the MVP this year. If you go by stats, he's top 10 in the NBA in points, rebounds, and assists. Digging a little deeper, he's the number one in player efficiency rating. In a league of unicorns, I like to call Jokic the king. He is literally the center of everything the Nuggets do. And how about Michael Porter Jr.? You know, he is more than just Jonte Porter's big brother, okay? He scores at all three levels. He's coming into his own and has matured as a playmaker, dribbler, and a shooter. The confidence this dude has is through the roof. I think he's one of the best young players in the league. And I'm especially eager to see how he does this series with Mikhail Bridges trying to put the clamps on him game after game. Let's talk about Aaron Gordon. He came over after the trade deadline from Orlando, immediately ingratiated himself into this Denver team. Perfect role for him as a complimentary player. And he has learned quickly that if he gets open, Jokic will find him for an easy bucket. He'll have to step up in a big way this series if he is indeed going to help the Nuggets overtake the Suns. Looking a little farther down the bench, Paul Millsap. Yeah, I know he's like 80 years old, but he can still give you some points, rebounds, and solid defense. Monty Morris, one of the best backup point guards in the league. He can run the show. He can get others involved. Facundo Campazzo, also a great point guard backup. He and Jokic are out there throwing passes that we've never seen before, whizzing the ball all over the place, and yet it's still finding the man who can put it in the bucket. Jermichael Green, he's a hustle player, hits the three, plays him a good defense. Then Austin Rivers has stepped it up since joining the Nuggets late in the season, doing Austin Rivers type of things. You'll notice I didn't mention Jamal Murray. That's because he's out with an injury. Very unfortunate because he was playing like a man possessed in last year's playoffs but the Nuggets have guys who can step up and fill that role. So who is the pick? I'm going to be watching the battle between Jokic and DeAndre Ayton. Add to that, the backcourt battle can end up being really difficult for the Nuggets to overcome. Can Austin Rivers and Facundo Campazzo go toe-to-toe with Devin Booker and CP3 for seven games? This is where the absence of Jamal Murray and Will Barton, who's also injured, is really going to sting. The Nuggets will be facing a different animal in the Suns' defense as well. Portland didn't present much of a challenge in that department, but the Suns have a top 10 defense in the NBA. Nikola Jokic alone will be enough to keep you in this series for a few games, but I see this one ending in six games with a series victory by the Suns. Hey, I need you to let me know in the comments who you have winning this series. Drop your predictions down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like to help support the channel and make sure you are subbed up for new NBA videos several times a week. Make sure to check out the boxes on the screen for more NBA content just like this. My name is Troy. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on the Half Court Report.